All right, uh, starting a new boat project. Um, this is a ship from 1741. Merchant ship of some sort. Uh, scale is 3 sixteenths. Equals one foot. I get most of these patterns from books. And I uh, would just scan the page in from the book and then... Uh, this particular one was from Chappelle. You can see his name down there at the bottom. But, uh, um, yeah. So I just print it out as uh, large as I can on, on three sheets of paper, tape them together, just to get the uh, size that I want to make the model. And then uh, once you have that... Uh, Print it out, you uh, just put some carbon paper down and uh, you get some uh, poster board here. That's the poster board. So I just put some carbon paper on top of that and uh, what I do is I trace the templates out that I need. And in my case, I mostly just use the, the buttocks lines or the for the lifts. And uh, if I wanted to do the water lines, I would have to do uh, probably 10 layers of wood there. Whereas if I use the buttock lines, uh, I only need four layers. Well, one, two, three, four, five layers. There's the fifth one over there. But that one's uh, really thin, actually. So that's the uh, first part of it, is uh, making these templates up. And uh, then you proceed to cut the cut the wood. Uh, when you have the patterns, you got to get the lift dimensions. In this case, it's kind of an odd one. It was two and a half, three sixteenths, or fifteen thirty seconds. So it's a bit of an oddball measurement. But uh, I have a table saw, so I just cut it. All right, so these this is the wood stock that I've been working with. They are some uh, cedar beams, very, very dry. Um, it's just rough cut cedar, uh, cedar, as you can see here on this side, some rotten patches in it too. And uh, I think this was cut from some very old growth stuff. Anyways, it's uh, very, very dry. Um, I plane this side down because I'm about to cut the the uh, lifts for another boat. So uh, I plane this down with that uh, planer right there just to get this side smooth so I don't uh, waste a whole layer. And with the saw blade set up like that, that's how thick I'm going to be cutting it. I have to cut on two different passes. This is uh, five inches thick, I think. Five and a half inches. So I'm going to cut it on the top and flip it over and cut it on the bottom. So it's uh, looking all ready to go. And uh, so I'll uh, proceed. So uh, I finished my first one here. And uh, I uh, measured it with that uh, tool there, and uh, it turns out it's a little bit thin, but uh, um, the blade's set up just about perfect. I'm not getting a uh, big uh, transition spot in the middle, or alignment problem in the middle, so I'm just going to go with it. Maybe it'll be a a bit thicker the next one I do because that one was just planed off. So now I've cut out the the templates that I'm going to need out of that uh, cardboard poster board that uh, I transferred from the original plans. Anyways, uh, these are the pieces. These are all separate pieces and. And that I need to cut. So that's the rudder. That's the outside of the keel. That will be added after. These are the lifts here. 
and uh, this is the deck level so the the bulk of the boat only goes to the boat deck and this is bulwarks or something that's added after so so that will be a thinner layer just added to the outside of the boat and uh, so these are the lifts I have to cut those out and that's the keel and there is the deck this is actually facing the wrong way um, so that's the deck of the boat and uh, so there's the all of the templates that I need to cut uh, just using the standard scissors rather than exacto knife to cut out the uh, templates because it uh, seems to be more accurate this piece is uh, added just for the uh, bowsprit to sit on and will only be on the very first lift. So now I need to transfer the lines from, from these lifts onto the wood. It's a piece of wood and pin down your template. And uh, when you're choosing a position, you can't be anywhere near any knots. It's got to be clear wood all the time and no splits in it. So that's important that you check that. And uh, so that's the very first lift that I've marked out. And uh, you just uh, pin it with some tacks and then you draw around it with pencil. So the next part is uh, cutting that out with the jigsaw. So I have uh, marked out the templates. Uh, careful to record the the alignment marks, that's water line, and those are the fore aft uh, alignment marks. So this is the second template I needed to do. Anyways, I couldn't find a spot uh, for this one, and uh, that one fit better. So what I did was I just marked it on the, on the back right there. And uh, so... Now I need to uh, cut it out with the jigsaw and got all the alignment marks marked on it as well. So we, here we have all of the lifts completed and I sand them, sanded the edges down to the, uh, the lines that, of the templates, the template lines. And uh, so now it's... Um, time for the gluing um, so each piece will be glued on the back side as in this one here will be glued on that back side and then stuck down there so flip it over glue it stick it down here and then uh, once I have all of them glued and put together and I clamp it uh, so I'll uh, go through that when you're applying the glue you're covering it uh, very well and spreading it out with uh, this uh, just a compressor stick like that but you cover the entire surface with as much glue with a lot of glue and uh, you clean up the squeeze out as much as possible can't really get that in there but that doesn't matter and uh, there's the glue I used and uh, takes about uh, 24 hours for the glue to dry so we'll check back tomorrow so I have uh, sanded the deck of the boat now and uh, more or less it was uh, pretty rough looking too. There was a major part of the house there was needed to get straightened and that step was, was kind of a mess right there. But with about uh, 20 minutes of sanding, I've uh, pretty much cleaned it all off and got some kind of shape to it. Um, but uh, the thing I wanted to uh, show you as well was uh, that notch there was was too thin for, uh, I mean, it was too uh, small for uh, getting 
with the sander. The sanders uh, can only get within a quarter inch of an edge. And uh, anyways, uh, I took out uh, this. This is just a hand file that I made up. It's round on one side and flat on the other. And uh, you can just uh, get these uh, small angles and uh, file them very very smooth so uh, I'm going to continue on with that I got to sand down to the bottom of that so that's quite a ways to go there Ouch. managed to finish the deck off and the house there um, Clean up all the edges, uh, fix the bowsprit there, and cut out the the outside of the deck, the deck template. Yeah, there's still some work to do there, I think, but uh, more or less, it's all there. Sand it out, and uh, the next part is to work on the uh, sending out these so what I use what I do is the the sander round part right here will go down each one of these channels till it reaches the the bottom the bottom inside so I gotta sand away all this wood material on the outside and uh, that's what I'm gonna do next I've completed uh, the first phase of sanding and uh, taking it down to those uh, lift lines and uh, get the general shape of the hull figured out and uh, it's uh, not a very big model turned out send it quite a bit away Anyways, I'm going to move on to hand sanding it now. So I've finished sanding the model. And now I'm trying to stick the bulwarks on it. And uh, it's actually going to be difficult. This uh, turn in the bow section there might be too much for my piece of wood. But uh, I'm just going to glue it on. Slowly with this uh, super glue here. Let's see what's uh, this stuff called? Uh, super gel, super glue. And uh, tries pretty fast. Takes about a minute. And I can continue on with the next section, and uh, hopefully it'll just uh, stick on. Okay, so I had to uh, glue on some of the keel pieces. That's that's actually the keel and the, the bow, well, whatever, and uh, the stern part of it, stern post. Uh, what's the bow called? Don't really know. But I'm gonna have to sand that off more around at some point when the glue dries. But uh, there's the model so far. Still got lots of work to do on it. So I have uh, finished um, gluing the pieces onto the boat and uh, also have completed the final sanding with uh, 200 grit paper, this stuff right here. And uh, just to uh, get all the little stains out as much as possible, I could do that uh, rudder part some more. I think I probably will. And anyways, I uh, had some fun gluing these pieces on. You can see that it cracked there. Hopefully that covers up reasonably well. And uh, um, there's the inside there. And uh, so at this point, I am uh, ready to begin uh, varnishing. And uh, that's pretty much the finished wood shape. So I've uh, completed the model of uh, the mediator sloop and uh, 
Um, I just filled in a lot of it with the uh, felt pen. All of the black parts, obviously. There's the original boat uh, plan. Um, somewhat shaded as far as the windows and the, the portholes go for the, the guns, I imagine. And I've marked the water line, of course. And uh, that's that's the model there. Um, I also have mounted these two nails in the back um, to uh, press it into the wall, like those ones here are, are done. And uh, so that's the model there. I just use this electrical tape when I'm marking out uh, the dark lines and you just put the tape down for an edge and then uh, you can use the, the permanent marker here to fill it in in the windows i just made a square out of different pieces of tape and fill it in filled it in like that so uh, that's the uh, model and i uh, just have to write some stuff on the back and be ready to go on the wall